All right, speaking of Big Little Jack, we've got a man who's used to making color to Big Little Jack Studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the way from Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, I'm up in the place, yeah, man. <laughs> boom, 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 fire. What's he doing? I do not think that's a Jamaican <laughs> song. <laughs> it is. Uh, Have you been in a Jamaica club before? Yeah. Come on, come on, select that. Every time, every time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting more fire in the building. Yeah, yeah, we got Nigeria, the chemists in the building. Sorry, just to ask though, is this the way everybody in Jamaica speaks like, like this? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like uh, you know just for the music or anything. So it's, when a, it's an island. Yeah. yeah. Island tilt. So it's an island thing. Yeah. 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 So when I'm going to book, any guys are going to buy bread. Yeah. Yeah, man, me go buy bread. You know. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. You know, English is, is is the first language, but of course you have the the dialect. Okay. The broken English, which is just a nice, slow, easy mm. version of it. But you managed to maintain your. Yeah, you seem very. You're not. Yeah. Seeing what Lucy was doing. Yeah, because you you've been around the world a lot. Yeah, I think traveling definitely helps to to expand the, you know, the, the horizon. So, but at the core, you still have to keep the Jamaican, okay. the Jamaican roots. Okay. Yeah, because I find it's people find it fascinating outside of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. at least in the, the dialect. Do you get a lot of negative vibes about Jamaica uh, and uh, marijuana? Some places, mm -hmm. some places. But of course, you know, marijuana now is becoming closer to be becoming legal in the US. Yeah. So. It's, it's. I mean, when you walk into a room, people assume that you are a smoker. They do. Yeah. And I, I don't smoke, so I'm probably. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you don't want. I'm sorry. And you make it. You make it. So don't smoke. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was like a rite of passage, yeah. like when you're yeah, like 12 like you to, you or 15. Just, no, no, no. I, I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. Yeah. I don't believe in that. I don't think you're Jamaican though, but I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. We're not saying that all Jamaicans smoke, please. All right. The, 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 we're just being, uh, trying to have fun, okay? No, please, in case you stop saying we are. We've got a lot of bunch of Jamaicans on our timeline now. <laughs> come on, come on. Because you're not going to have half of Jamaican coming after us. What do you mean? We don't all smoke, man. <laughs> so, are you, we just burn down the trees gradually. <laughs> gradually. <laughs> So you're uh, predominantly a DJ. I'm a DJ mm -hmm. producer originally. Yeah, songwriter as well. I see you, you've done stuff uh, alongside Brick and Lace, uh, J Balvin, you know Wally Lopez. It seems like you, you know, you've been around the block, you know, for uh, for quite a while. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. So yeah. what would you call your kind of music? What kind of music are you doing? My kind of music is is uh, a hybrid between dance and uh, reggae, um, a little electronic. And Latin. It's yeah. a whole mixture of everything. Okay, you know, some people don't un actually understand the difference between reggae and dancehall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so can you just break it down for you know the people listening right now? Um, reggae is more, to really explain it, more live instruments. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I think dancehall kind of spin mm -hmm. off of reggae, which is more, a little bit more upbeat mm -hmm. for the clubs. Mm -hmm. Still so can be slow as well, but reggae is more live stuff, more mm -hmm. one drop. Ding, 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 yeah. Ding. We call it Njoko here, Njoko. Njoko, 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 Njoko. You know what I'm saying? Once you got that Njoko to be yeah, in there, so that, you, can, you can roll with any that's, song. That's a signature of it. Yeah, Njoko, Njoko, Njoko. Wow, okay, music lessons. Yeah, yeah man, so, so there you go. All right, uh, we're happy that you're here. For those who don't know, I mean, how do you get started? I mean, I know that obviously Jamaica has, been, has produced so many, so many uh, talented people. We don't even, I mean, the list is long. Yeah, oh, tell you, Jamaica reminds me of Nigeria, you know, for such a small island, mm -hmm. the talent is just abundant, mm -hmm. and I find Nigeria is, is very similar to that, you know, Nigeria spit out a whole heap of talent okay. over the years. So, so did you, is this something that you, you set out to do from school, or was it just you fell into it? Yeah, this all started in high school. In mm -hmm. high school, um, during lunchtime, we used to beat, oh, yeah. we used to beat on the table, and I used to just spit while we beat on the table to get lunch money to buy food. Oh, wow. Okay. So from there, it's uh, I moved on to, to playing music at home at my mom's parties. And then I used to mix hip hop with dance and reggae. And people used to just call me the chemist from there because I like to mix things together. Mm. So that's what the name, the chemist. Okay. Came about. Not that you were in the Breaking Bad. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not that kind of chemist. No, my name is Kemar. <laughs> so from Kemar, I came the chemist. Uh -huh. And then I um, started producing and DJing initially. And then a few months ago, I got signed to Universal as an artist, vocally. OK. Uh, so this is nice one. Well done. Congratulations, man. Nice one. Well done. Nice one. Nice one. So what brings you down to our neck of the woods? Well, Nigeria has always been a place that I come to a lot. This is my fifth or sixth time here. Really? It must yeah. be the food, then, or the, and, and the women. 
I put that away, man. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my first time here was at Brick and Lace. I used to DJ for them. Oh, back really? Back in the day. Yeah, okay. So I've been here a, a few times, you know, Port Accord, Abuja. So of all African countries, Nigeria is, is the one I, I am the most. So you, you really enjoy Nigeria? Yeah, well, definitely. Okay. All right, nice one. So uh, what, what happened to Brick and Lace? They, they seem like they're not together anymore. I think they wanted to explore their individual mm. they were good together we liked them together yeah mm. you know mm. but you know in our group sometimes somebody want to go left somebody want to go right yeah so it was taking some time now to kind of just get them with solo mm. careers going mm. and who knows what the future holds okay so mm. what what are you going to be making i mean obviously you're with a new deal you have universal are you going to stick to what you're what you have the, the lane that you're known for or are you going to try and you know bring a bit of now that you're actually a recording artist, artist yeah. rather than a producer good question mm. um first and foremost i'm a lover of music so i love all music mm. and when you listen to my music you can hear the different influences in my music but i think dancehall and reggae will will be the core of, of, of my well, song you, that'll be the base of what you're doing yeah. the foundation right mixed with different elements but that will be the base of, of everything so have you had a chance to listen to our music our music is traveling around the world now. But while you're here now, have you sampled? Have you listened to anything? Have you got into the studio with anybody? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Afrobeats and African music is mm. is in Jamaica, it's in the US. Now you hear it on the radio, mainstream radio mm. in the UK. So definitely, I have been listening to Afrobeats years now. Yeah. So who you who do you who you love? Who you um, feeling? Currently, mm. yeah. Oh, I, too many. Everybody. Um, David. Mm. Wiz, Berna, um, Piwa, Afro B, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. So, also currently I'm working on a Jamaica meets Africa project. Uh -huh. uh, coming in the top of 2020. Okay. Where I'm fusing with the Jamaican artists, dance and reggae, with the Afro beats, Nigeria, maybe Uganda, some Af artists in East Africa as well. So look forward to that one. Okay. We're mixing the Afrobeats and the dance arts with their interesting mm -hmm. okay. combination. Now, uh, some people have been saying, uh, you know, with the the growth and the expansion, uh, even though we're, we're, it's not mainstream yet, with the uh, expansion and growth of Nigerian and African music to other uh, shores, you know, mm -hmm. across certain parts of Europe, certain parts of America, Asia, mm -hmm. uh, Australia, um, but they they're saying that the the expansion is not real yet because it hasn't taken hold of the foundation which is the young kids you right. know the young non-black non-african kids are not are not there yet you know the college kids you know you know and the, the high school people because uh, it's like it's like a false dawn because there was a time when reggae and dancehall music went global mm -hmm. Then suddenly it seemed to shrink. Yeah, you know, you had likes of you know Shaba Rankin, uh, Sean Paul, Beanie Man, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, you know, oh, Mr. Vegas. Yeah. You had the more yeah. you know, oh, oh, Buji Banton. They were playing out huge stadiums around the world. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly, bang, everything just disappeared. So what what happened? Over the years, I think dance or reggae mm -hmm. had its seasons. Up. Oh. And then it's done. Right. But just like you said, it did penetrate the core, mm. which is the young youth. Mm. Um, we can get into a number of reasons why that is. It wasn't due to the, the homophobic uh, lyrics and music they were making. Because it was a time when there was a lot of backlash about the, some of these songs, you know? Yes, I think um, that played a small part in it. Because mm. not all dancehall reggae music is homophobic. Yeah. Oh. Just a few. But yeah, that was an issue at that time with the UK, especially. Yeah. And they put limits and bans on a lot of the Jamaican mm -hmm. artists to travel and stuff like that. But I think it's just a matter of time before Afrobeats and things start to become more mainstream. Mm -hmm. um, when you see the likes of Beyonce and Rihanna kind of doing the dances and uh, implying mm -hmm. the sound in their music, the the, the, yeah. the Lion King movie, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept up. yeah. So you know the world is is is. It's a wagonics world we're in, yeah. so I think they need to see people like that embrace it, and then the young kids will. Yeah, follow. because we've not seen any big, big dancehall artist or you know reggae artist come through in the last ten years. You mean in Nigeria? In, in uh, Jamaica, Jamaica. Have we seen any like go global? 
I mean, who would you? If, if, I, I'm, I'm, I, maybe I'm wrong. I'm struggling to think by any name that you'd say, okay, he or she has gone boom global. Well, well you have Sean Paul. But Sean Paul he was there, really? Is he really global? Wow. Still, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sean Paul is still relevant. Mm -hmm. um, Shaggy is still doing his thing. Mm -hmm. He just dropped an album with yeah. Sting, which, yeah. Which, yeah. which was a huge mm -hmm. deal. Um, yeah, but definitely, it's, it's, you know, compared to to the, to the American and the European yeah. counterparts, yeah. Yeah. the numbers is not there yet. Not there yet, but one for no words. All right, so we're going to be hopefully seeing the album. This uh, Obviously, it can't come out this year because the year is done. But uh, 2020 album we have? No, my EP is currently out. Okay. Um, the Mayhem EP, it just dropped a few months ago, so it's currently out now. That's what I'm pushing and working on. Um, a single off of it, Mayhem, which is a wicked club banger. Okay. Yeah. Mash it up the whole of Europe and Ukraine. Uh, uh, mash it up, we'll see, mash it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, is, that is not what it means. Mash it up, mash it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, All right, nice one. Have you had a chance to enjoy Nigerian food? You know, you, you guys do a lot of stuff with goat in Jamaica, so you obviously must like, uh, have you tried the asso? Yeah, man, I've been eat, eating Nigerian food since I've been here. Well, okay. Last night we were at um, Danfu. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, Danfu, right? Yeah, yeah the, the, the chicken and the jollof fries. It was, was on point, huh? Shocked. Shocked. <laughs> wicked, wicked. All right. Uh, are you married? Are you single? Or? Single. Sure. Of course. So have you met any nice girls here in uh, Nigeria? I met a few in the hotel, you know. Okay. But yes. they were in their uniform, so I think the boss was watching, so they had to just scan I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I'm, I'm not going to ask what hotel that is. <laughs> But if you're in that hotel with Mr. Chemist, uh, uh, be, uh, <laughs> yeah. so you're gonna be here for for a while. So hopefully we'll see some of those collaborations coming through uh, with the next project. But this one is out there, right? Yeah, this one is definitely out on all um, digital all platforms. platforms. Mm -hmm. So check it out, the Mayhem EP, The Chemist. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the top of 2020. Look for that Africa meets Jamaica project. Okay. We're gonna see you. Are we, are we gonna see you performing here? Maybe come come through in, in Lagos. I just performed recently. Um, okay. Last Sunday. Um, big up to DJ Bobby who brought me here for the Red Alert concert. Okay. Um, so that's my 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 pur first purpose of being here. Mm. Um, DJ Bobby had a, a concert with um, a bunch of DJs. Okay. Um, Nyanda from Brick and Lakes and myself as the two international artists. Okay. I will blaze the stage that night and. Yeah, this, nice is a, this is the aftermath now, so I'm just doing the rounds in the studio with some of the Nigerian artists. All right, nice in the next one. few days. So, Keris in the building. Yeah. We're about to drop it, Mayhem, uh, featuring Leada uh, and uh, Brain Dead. I like that name. DJ Brain Dead. DJ Brain Dead. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're not in a club. You're not popular. Stop making that sound. Close enough. Close enough. You close see? Enough. You close see? Enough. Don't close encourage enough. it. Yeah. What have you noticed the difference between Jamaican women and Nigerian women? Oh, my man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a very little difference. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, very little difference. Um, the body's shaped the same way, mm -hmm. nice and healthy and round. Who's more difficult? Who's more difficult? Mm. I say Nigerian. Yeah, I said I said the same thing too. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. That just went wow. Then what one more is... thing. <laughs> oh, one more thing, just before I let you go. I will always see these viral videos on the internet of you guys dancing crazily. Yeah. So I want to feel that maybe he's a routine. Broke off your back. Yeah. Broke off your back. So you guys Broke are jumping off. from uh, from building yeah. is that a thing? I I'm, I I don't know. I can't explain. <laughs> it. Really, generally, I can't explain. It. Okay. I'm jumping from the top of the roof. Yeah, straight into the oh, into the say. into the the grind. Yeah. Of yeah. The, I'm yeah. Just saying, okay. Uh, some people must get hurt at some point. Yeah, uh, it's just creativity to the next level, yeah. you know? Yeah. And some of the women, they don't, they don't have bones in they their bodies. They don't get hurt. They don't have bones in their bodies. I mean, the way they move, they can't have bones in their bodies. We really can't. All right. Uh, so my German, as you heard. Yeah, about to I'm, I'm no time. longer speaking. Oh, we love, we love, we love them the same way, you know, even though they're difficult. Yeah, huh. I don't know. Hello, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem 7. You can't miss the middle. All right, man. I want to say thanks for coming through. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Yeah, man. And have a great time. And enjoy. Uh, you're here for the weekend, right? Uh, I think I, I'm out on Friday or Saturday. Okay, but uh, so have a great time while you're here. Yeah, man. And, and thank uh, you for having me. Big up the beat. Big up you guys. Yeah, yeah. love. Anytime. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll get you a Nigerian girlfriend. Uh, just to, just to make it difficult. Just to you? complicate your life a bit. You know what I'm <laughs> if your life is too easy, let's complicate it with Nigerian girlfriend. Enjoy. Yeah, man. Big up.